As publication office, in the end, we publish data. And data becoming so complex today need, on the one hand, some kind of explanation. For me, I think of data visualization as uh, a spectrum between very explanatory approaches, so forming a narrative, uh, leading the users through uh, a path through the visualization, and exploratory approaches where uh, it's, it's more of a world to explore. So data visualization charts um, can be used to mislead the public and we need to raise awareness of this. We want people to engage actually in these ethics frameworks. How we take data, which is nothing, it's just numbers, it's on a page, the only thing that can read it are machines, how we can take that kind of information and turn it into knowledge. We'll still need data visualization to be able to control and uh, to audit the new kind of algorithm. Well, the presentations were really interesting because they showed examples from the actual work. So one, one of the key challenges we face at the moment is we have been asked to produce more and more visual effects in shorter and shorter time uh, and we want our artists to be as creative as possible so creating tools to let our artists do as many iterations and be as creative as possible is one of the key challenges we're facing. I'm really interested in how can we use data visualization to promote open data publishing, to show governments that open data is something worthwhile, something valuable to them, as well as how can we use data visualization to make open data more accessible to a broader number of people. here because we want to uh, show our product and how we have implemented new features for visually impaired people. We are also one of the first countries in the world who will have a complete high resolution 3D map. This event is a golden opportunity for the European institutions to put visualization on the radar for future communication and passing complex messages to the European policymakers and to the citizens as well. also take home is this kind of hope that it's, you know, in the public sector there's this kind of willingness to, to try certain things. Yeah, I don't know.